Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. We've got it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the go. info war. It is Sunday, the 16th day of February 2014. And we're going to be here as we are every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't tell this story up front in the broadcast to make it some type of hypochondrial announcement. Uh, just sometimes when the show is affected, a lot of times when I'm sick, which is rare, maybe once a year or so, I have better broadcast uh, because then it makes me settle down and be more thoughtful. But I have about 102 fever right now, and I did go and get a chest X-ray and some other stuff today, and I do have pneumonia in both lungs, but it's, good news is it's only on the tops. But I tell you, I had my cousin die of this this year, or late last year. My uncle died early this year of this, and it's been called the mystery illness all over the United States. But they're doing a swab test of it, but it, they say it looks like bacteria. And I don't go to the doctor unless I am in serious pain, coughing up blood. These little buggers are in there having an absolute field day chewing on my lungs. Uh, but the reason I'm here is because wild horses couldn't drag me away. Quite frankly, I could hardly stand up earlier. I was in there laying on the couch. But as soon as we go on air, I'm ready. Because the part of my brain that is aware of the threat to society uh, shifts into gear. And I think that's why when I'm tired or been out of town or had no sleep or done whatever, I tend to come in and do the show because it's a, it's a crutch. It's actually very, very uh, relaxing until you get off air, then you're totally exhausted. But David Knight, who filled in last week, and I don't want to say filled in because David is such a joy to listen to because he's so informed and such a wide breadth and width of knowledge. Uh, he did last Sunday's uh, broadcast when I took my son and daughters out shooting with one of our friends. Um, but I invited him back this Sunday with us yet again because I just enjoy having his company. And if I need to lean on somebody, he's here. But you know how I am. I'll probably never go to the calls, never even let him talk. But he's he's sitting over there, and we have a lot to talk about. When we come back uh, from break, I just want to be clear. I believe in medical science. I believe in Western medicine, except the fact that it's been hijacked by the Rockefellers on record. Look it up, Rockefeller Medicine. And that they are trying to suppress the good parts of it and expand the bad ones. And here's Time Magazine that came out. Yesterday, I guess on Saturday, children exposed to more brain harming chemicals than ever before. And it goes on to admit U.S. studies, Chinese studies, you name it, that fluoride is one of the main ones. And they admit it's brain damaging children. The nat the, the, not the naturally occurring fluoride that you need a little bit of, the calcium fluoride, but the hydrofluorosilicic acid is added. They admit it's brain damaging the children. So that's going to be coming up. And, and the, that's my issue and my point. The reason the globalists can get away with stuff like this is it's so diabolical, the average person goes, there's no way they're putting that in the water to brain damage you. No, the Soviets did it in the 30s. Lenin did. That's in not one but two Pulitzer Prize winning books about World War II because then the Germans, we've got to dig those books back out. I've gone and gotten the citations and read it on air. It came out in the Nuremberg trials that the Nazis were putting it uh, in the forced labor camp water at about three parts per million. They put it in 1.6 part per million for us at at three parts per million, folks, you start getting real submission. And you wonder why the folks in the camps are so submissive. A, they kept them near starvation and killed anybody that spoke up and stood up. So that's A, B. But, but C, they were on hydrofluorosilicic acid. This isn't a game or a joke. This is a real deal. And it's a window into what we're facing. Now, we have the big top story that's up on InfoWars.com. We're going to be covering when we come back. We have some special reports that David Knight has filed on that. They're extremely extremely powerful, uh, that I hope you'll share with everyone you know. U.S. Army builds fake city in Virginia to practice military occupation. That's a story that went viral. The uh, nurse practitioner and the doctors and folks I was talking to today at a clinic I've been going to for 15 years, they all saw that on Drudge Friday and were listening to the show. And they, he said, are you going to talk about that today? I said, yeah, I'm going in. He was really going to go in with 102 fever. And I said, yeah, I'm going in. Not that I'm some Billy Bad Butt or something. It's just... Man, I don't know how long I'll be able to be on air and talk about this stuff, so it's all coming up. And David, you've also got some stuff on uh, the attack on free speech uh, and more, right? That's right. We've got some news about internet freedom. We've got news about gun freedom. 
We got some news about global warming as well as what you're talking about with the fluoride. We've got some big news about a Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals decision last Global Thursday. Global social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We're take all the guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. We're going to cover a familiar theme on this Sunday, the 16th day of February 2014, Worldwide Sunday Transmission. But there are new, very serious chapters uh, in this unfolding saga. There was a, a National uh, Science Board study that was put out Friday showing that uh, one out of four Americans do not know that the Earth circles the sun. They thought the sun circled the Earth. Of course, it's been known since the days of Copernicus and Galileo that uh, it was the Earth circling the sun. Over a quarter of Americans do not know the Earth circles the sun, according to the new survey. So there you go. They've known since 1543. I mean, they knew hundreds of years before that or even thousands, but they would kill you. Burn you at the stake. Heresy. Just like if you say Obamacare raised uh, your rates, even though it did, or you lost your doctor. It's racist blasphemy to talk bad about Obama lying to you. So Obamacare did lower the price of your health care to that of a phone bill, even though on average it's doubled it and it's set to triple and quadruple. No. If Obama said that the laws of gravity were suspended, it would happen. Or you're a racist. Now, getting serious here, ladies and gentlemen, the only reason they can get away with what they're doing across the board is there's really not two parties in this country. You've got the Republican leadership on record giving more money to, to candidates who are running against Tea Party candidates than they are to defeat Democrats. And that, that's been in the news the last few months. It's on record. We've got all the big associations, all the big business associations lobbying um, for Tea Party candidates that are just common sense to be defeated. They don't want a real opposition. They don't want two parties. They don't want a libertarian constitutional type group to take over the Republicans, which is starting to happen. It's very frustrating to see this, this group, the Tea Party, who isn't perfect by any stretch and is very diverse, 
having a real shot at turning things around for this country and by extension the world and to see the whole system republican democratic leadership the controlled press state-run media combines going after the tea party obviously those are the good guys if you have six percent approval rating for congress if you've got 20-something you know, for Obama in many polls, if you've got the support for this system at the lowest it's ever been in history, the government violating the Bill of Rights and Constitution from pillar to post, then obviously the group being attacked by the establishment 24-7 is the real opposition. And we should take it over. We already pretty much started it, but we should continue to take it over, continue to keep it somewhat free, nothing's perfect, and continue to make inroads with common sense into government. Now, that said, and this ties into the huge news we're about to break here on air. Do you know in literally hundreds of public army manuals in the last five years and hundreds of Homeland Security briefing reports given to state police that we've broken and there have been national news? This is all on record that the number one enemy going back almost six years behind the scenes that they were training for is gun owners, returning veterans, conservatives, Libertarians, constitutionalists, Bob Barr supporters, Ron Paul supporters, Alex Jones supporters, get us out of the UN supporters. Anybody that doesn't want this country fully gutted by offshore criminals. And notice Obamacare is incredibly unpopular. Almost 80% in national Gallup polls are against it. Last one I saw was 79% was, were against it. You can pull that up. 79% against Obamacare. In fact, guys, just put that into a search engine. I want to show people that. Some polls are even higher. The point is 79%. So are we all extremists because we don't like it? The truth is we're the real opposition. We're the common sense. What we're saying is popular. That's why secretly in all these training manuals and all these memos and all these military training operations and police training operations and joint operations that violated posse comitatus and a whole string of other federal laws barring domestic military engaging in police activities like a third world country or North Korea. I mean, the Revolutionary War started over troops on the streets, taking guns. And the difference is now, they've gone from having that secret to having it public. And putting out via the Army PR news release department, we have a video, oh, the mock city, and they told newspapers, oh, it's for overseas. And it's all part of lying in our face. It's the DC subway, it's all in English, it's 10 story buildings, it's 300 uh, acres, it's it, and, and they're training for gun confiscation. You can clearly watch the videos. And it's all over the Army Times and Stars and Stripes the last three, four years. They're doing that. But in the PSYOP, the military saying, you know, don't run, we're your friends. This is for overseas. And even the, the papers, and I'm going to read this, said, oh, you know, it's even got a mosque. And it's a Baptist church with Gothic windows, stained glass, and a steeple. And you say, why would they lie like that? Because they've been ordered to, and in a real PSYOP, you lie on purpose to condition people to just accept lies. This is very sophisticated. Remember four months ago, the uh, Pentagon came out with an hour-long press briefing that we played clips of with the Deputy Secretary uh, of uh, the Department of Defense. And they said, look, the public doesn't buy our psych, psych warfare anymore. We've got to start telling the truth, A. B, we've got to go out and engage the public. Now, that was another lie. Going out and engaging the public is buying off the blogs, infiltrating, dirty tricks. And this is going on, by the way. And, and starting infighting and in disinfo. And I want to be clear. In any country, whether the country falls to tyranny or stands up against it, the military and then the police are the key sector. We're not criticizing the military here to bring this up any more than we criticize the German military saying don't follow Hitler in 1933. But when you become willing servants of an offshore crime cartel... It's a serious issue. So I wanted to go over a special report David Knight filed Friday night for InfoWars Nightly News that is particularly powerful. It's up on InfoWars.com if you want to actually see all this. But for radio listeners, I'm going to air it. DrudgeReport.com linked to it Friday. It caused a big buzz. I went to a doctor's office today because uh, I've got a serious cold. And they all came back and you know, kind of got around me and said, you know, we're a lot of us are former military and we know what's happening and this is really dangerous. And we saw that report and that's clearly an American city. And well, yeah. The fact is, the military is actually in all their training manuals saying the number one threat is, quote, the Tea Party. That's even been in Washington Times, Forbes, Associated Press. 
again, years after I told